It's a peaceful Sunday outside Sigma Kappa. The streets are especially busy at the start of the school year. Undergraduates from all walks of life rushing to houses like this. Inside, conversation is brewing. For many students who rush to these doors during recruitment, it's about finding community. Others find that these doors may not be open for everyone. Graduating senior Jacqueline Bueno is starting a conversation about diversity and inclusion. The former VP of Community Development at SK spoke at the West Coast Conference for the Association of Fraternal Leadership and Values. It hosts over 40 institutions and five Greek councils. It was just about enabling change for leaders in the community to really go to these workshops and have the tools to address topics such as racism to sexual assault and um, my role specifically at the conference was I gave a one-hour presentation on what equity should look like in Greek life. She says audience members express similar efforts on their local campuses. So how can Greek life at Cal be more equitable? If we're choosing not to talk about it and not to take a stance on the fact that these issues are problematic, then we're reinforcing these notions of racism, sexism, homophobia. For Bueno, workshops and dialogue are only the beginning. As a sociology major, she also hopes to use data for some perspective. Just having discussions once you have that data as well and seeing how, as members, we can really take a strong stance against the issues we face and go from there. At a larger level, some opposition towards the Greek system calls for its total closure. Her message to them? I definitely want to say that I think that the anger and frustration they have is valid. I think that historically our communities have not been the most productive or successful in addressing these issues, but I also think that if we want to change things and have them be better, we also have to be part of the solution. Reporting for CalTV News, I'm Thomas Manglonia.